Why is it that when you build a technologically sophisticated telescope that can peer out into the vast depths of space that you're also looking back in time? So all telescopes are time machines of a sort, and that's by virtue of the fact that light, as fast as it travels, and it is the fastest propagating entity that we know about uh, in all of science, it travels about this far, about one foot every nanosecond. So if you convert, you know, nanoseconds to miles and you convert a feet to, to miles and nanoseconds to seconds, it travels about 186,000 miles per second, which is pretty darn fast, but it's not infinite. So therefore, whenever you're looking at something, you're not seeing it as it is right now. You're seeing it as it was sometime in the past. And the farther away something is, the longer the light traveled to reach your eyes or to reach our telescope. And telescopes are just eyes of a different sort. They might be sensitive to microwaves in the case of the telescope telescope that I build, radio waves, gamma rays. Just like your eyeballs, your eyeballs are two refracting telescopes. They have lenses, they have detectors. And so when we look at the sun, and I'm not advocating as a professional astronomer, when you look at the sun, you're seeing it as it was. And that period in which it was, was eight minutes ago, because it's 93 million miles away. And if you convert feet per nanosecond or miles per, per second or miles per hour, you get, it takes about eight minutes for light to travel from the sun. That means the sun could disappear and we wouldn't see it. We wouldn't know about it really for at least eight minutes and maybe even longer. So all telescopes are time machines, even the telescopes embedded in our skull. 